gold is the one of the few items in the world that can maintain its value. And I think it, what it says is the financial system is very vulnerable to some kind of um, event where people lose trust in currencies, as they are losing trust in currencies. I mean, if you were and I, you and I were to sit down and say, you know, what do you think the incidence of people losing trust in currencies has been going from eight to nine to 2010? To, you can just see that people are losing more and more uh, believability in currencies. And we have all these printing things going on all over the place. I mean, essentially unlimited in Japan. We even have um, uh, uh, Janet Yellen, who, who might be the next uh, chairwoman of the uh, Fed, suggesting we shouldn't even put a termination date on the printing anymore. So... I don't know why people can't accept that there is a serious vulnerability in the financial system as we see it. The, the fact that we accept that you can just print money and buy bonds, it kind of blows me away that the bond market just wants to play the game. They want to, you know, fade the Fed and not really deal with the issue, well, are we ever going to get real money back? And I suspect they won't get real money back. It, it, obviously you think there's going to be some sort of collapse or some sort of calamity. But what's your time frame? Well, Greg, you can't tell because, you know, it, we nearly had a, a situation in 08 when Lehman went down. That, and, and the Lehman event is a very unusual event uh, relative to recent history. And the unusual thing about Lehman, it was a liquidation. They allowed it to liquidate. So we got to see what things were really worth in a liquidation. And it nearly took the system down at the time. As the, you know, the rumors going around where we were in hours of closing down the banking system, credit was seizing up. You couldn't get uh, uh, credits to ship goods at the time, and we had to have the TARP and TAL programs initiated. Since Lehman, since the Lehman event, the central planners have learned we cannot allow a liquidation anymore. Ergo, Fannie Mae was put in their conservatorship, Freddie, AIG, Bankia, Dexia, all the banks that fail on Friday nights in the States are always taken over by somebody. So there's never a liquidation allowed because a liquidation, I think, would truly determine what assets are worth in the environment we're in today. And it's not allowed to happen. Now, how long you can keep doing that, you know, keep papering things over. I mean, we keep papering over Greece now. We're papering over Spain and the minute uh, Spain and Italy were having troubles with their interest rates, well, along comes Mr. Draghi with his OMT to kind of delay the recognition of the real problem. When it ends, I don't know. All I know is that people have to deal with the facts. And like I say, what's my safest alternative here to make sure that I can preserve my purchasing power? And if I had to you know, compare owning a government bond, a 10-year bond that yielded 1.5% or owning gold, that's gone up on average over approximately 15% every year for 12 years, including this year, now up 11 or 12. I mean, that seems to be, to me, the most obvious choice that people 